Final game right over. Back to canvas. One foot locking the back hammer on. The other hand making sure that the near arm doesn't bend too much. Count. One. Get the position he wanted, so it's to it. He tries to continue that move. Just two minutes left in this third. And still Johnny South leading this man Stewart. One to nil. South in the black trunks. Turn the rest of you through him. On a shot. And that was an attempt to a jump step over toe hole, but it didn't work quite, but he's still got the toe hold on if he wants it. There it is again, figure four, leg lock with bar. And it's the bar through that can do the damage here. South's right leg, right the way through that figure four leg lock. Under a minute now. No. Well, the action on the head forced him to release. Yeah, 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 yeah. Double Two, crash there. Three. The four, head's really hard. I'm so, five, surprised it doesn't happen more often than it does. Seven. 30 seconds. Eight, Double arm nicely over the top. Stuart, the shoulder press. Now, can he hold it for three? No, not quite. Three. Very near the equalizer to Stuart there. Now, he better hurry if he's going to get it in this third round. Just about 10 Two. seconds to go. Yes, sir. So Johnny South still leading, one fall to nil. They fall it again in round two with such a neat counter move from an attacking one by his opponent, which easily could have got the first fall. But he came back nicely with that counter and deserved to be one ahead. He still does. Bit lucky to get away with the one just now that almost got him back into the match. Seconds out, round four. Three rounds to go as we start the fourth. South in the black trunks, leading Stewart, one for the nil. Still no public or even private warning from referee Emil Poil up to now. Good sporting contest. And a full Jap Japanese stranglehold to Johnny South there. With a much tattooed forearms. Yes. Holding it up. Yes, Nicely over the top, and it's Stewart. Turn the tables completely. It looked as he'd gone too much towards the ropes there, but he managed to get behind this man. Yes, a lip slightly cut there, Johnny South, but I don't think he's probably even noticed it. I see when it came, it came well, all the way. And Stuart thought he was coming even further than Rob Stan. He looked at uh, us down at ringside here to say, I thought I was on you that time. Oh, yes. Perfectly legal. That's what I want back handled, but that isn't. That is not. He released. You can have one more attacking move after the release as long as it's immediate, but not two.
further weakness. Side head chancery, Stewart. But it's South trying to counter it. Waist hold and the flat of the hand to the stomach. Yeah. The the One, two, three. Ah, uh, oh, oh, it's the first time that either of them are willing. just temporarily forgot the rules. Couldn't resist following his man as he saw him down there, half outside the ring. And the figure four head scissors there. Notice the position of the left foot instep behind the right calf there, closing the head scissors on very hard indeed. Come on, come on, Still the figure four leg lock on to Stewart, holding it on with his body. But whether he'll get the head back as far as he needs it to get a submission, I rather doubt. Now he's released the legs now, concentrating on the head with the string of hold. Just one minute left. Follow up drop kick, that's quite how that came off. One of them landed fairly well, but not as hard as he intended with both feet. For sure. Watch hold again, slam. Just oh, a pile driver this time, and it's a hollow down cross press by Jout, and all he needs is this one, and it's his bout. Reverse double knee hold. And every time South makes the referee look at the shoulder blades of his opponent, of course, he lands another illegal punch to the stomach. But the referee not fooled away when he spotted that. About 12 seconds to go. South on top at the end of round four. Johnny South continuing as though he hasn't heard that bell, but... Not only was it very clear, but also the referee is right there, Emil Poil, telling him to break. <laughs> and now it's Johnny South losing his uh, cool just a little bit here. There they are, Pete Stewart. Got the wrong end of that round, all right. But he'll come back if I know him. Seconds out, round five. <laughs> Two rounds to go. South comes in hoping for a 2-0 win here. He's Leading by one to nil now, with two rounds to go. And of course the situation arises now that if Stewart doesn't get the equalizer in this fifth round, he's got no chance of winning this bout except by a knockout. He's got to get the equalizer soon. Yeah, so that uh, double body check. Just a question of who come off first. South, okay, going for the Boston Craft turn, but he couldn't get it. Stewart doesn't want him to, and quite rightly, but he's going through and giving it to him. He got his timing right, and it's a double knee up. Oh. Trying to force the feet over into a folding press, Stewart almost got caught in a, in a, 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 right on the ropes there, underneath the bottom rope, in a double leg Nelson. Both of them so even, there's nothing in this at all, except that South, of course, is still leading. Four 
Tom Smash good, nicely timed as his man came off the ropes, but he hurt his own arm doing it. Caught a bit too far up the arm near the elbow, and it really worried Stewart. And he's not going to make it, and that's it. A rather unlucky finish there for South, I would say. He just managed to stay another few seconds and beaten that count. He could have easily at least drawn the bout. And one minute, 30 seconds of round five. South failing to beat the count. The winner, the Iron Duke, Pete Stewart. By a knockout in effect.